now we're gonna wrap up the level 10 last portion it should be really binomial but I left a couple of things I could have finished last time so here it says use C V C value with the limit if you throw 0 in cosine of 0 is 1 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 that's 0 over 0 L'Hopital is not allowed it says use series you must use series I went to page 808 and I did the honor of copying those so this is going to be the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus the beauty of this you have both the actual series and the expanded form in this case I need the expanded form 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial I'm sorry I got it backwards it's right there 1 minus minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial minus x to the sixth and the list goes on over 1 plus x minus and e to the x is actually right there that would be 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial list goes on so this is the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus 1. I'm distributing that negative n plus x squared over 2 factorial minus x to the 4th over 4 factorial plus x to the 6th. And the list goes on. All over. 1 plus x. If I am to work at this negative n, that's minus 1 minus x over 1 factorial minus x squared over 2 factorial minus x cubed over 3 factorial and this oops, minus they're all minuses so i notice this is the limit as x approaches 0 those cancel out i'm left with x squared over 2 factorial minus x to the fourth you know what i'm going to continue right there that's going to equal the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared over 2 factorial minus x to the fourth over 4 factorial plus so the numbers cancel out that's a good thing and this I really don't need anymore all over and that portion those cancel out and those cancel out I'm left with negative x squared over 2 factorial minus x cubed over 3 factorial minus now when I take the limit as x approaches infinity, I divide by the highest power term of the denominator. What do you think I'm going to divide this when I take the limit as x approaches 0? So the limit as x approaches infinity, I divide by the highest power term of the denominator. The limit as x approaches 0, I'm going to divide by the lowest power term of the denominator. If I divide the top by x squared, as long as I divide the bottom by x squared, that'll be 1 over 2 factorial minus x squared over 4 factorial minus x to the fourth plus the denominator would be negative 1 over 2 factorial minus x over 3 factorial minus x squared over 4 factorial and the list goes on as x approaches 0 all the x's will zero out and I am left with 1 over 2 factorial divided by negative 1 over 2 factorial, which is a negative 1. And on number 68, y equal the secant of x. Again, use multiplication or division. And there's a reason for that of series to find the first three non-zero terms, just the first three. So I could think of this as y equal 1 over the cosine of x. And that would be in y equal 1 over and cosine is 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial. Again, it's right there. Plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial minus x to the 6th over 6 factorial. And the list goes on. And the way to get this is by really running this and using long division. And it's infinite. The answer is infinite. That's why they only want the first three terms, which happens a lot in applications. So I take 1 divided by 1. That's a 1. Good. I got 1. 2 more to go. Multiply those. That is 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial minus x to the 6th. And the list goes on. And if I subtract those, I change all of these signs. 
those cancel out i'm left with x squared over 2 factorial minus x to the fourth over now i don't list a lot of terms because i only need two more to go when i take x squared over 2 factorial divided by 1 that is x squared over 2 factorial and when i multiply those that is x squared over 2 factorial minus x to the fourth over 2 times 2 that's 4 right that's 2 factorial that's 2 factorial that's 4 plus i really don't need the rest remember i just need one more term when i subtract i change all the signs those cancel out so i'm trying to figure out what is negative x to the four four factorial is four times three times two times one which is 24 plus x to the fourth over four if i get a common denominator wouldn't that be 24 so over 24 this is negative x to the fourth plus six x to the fourth that is 5x to the 4th, either over 4 factorial or 24, it makes no difference. And when you divide this by 1, you will get a plus 5x to the 4th over either 4 factorial or 24th. That would be my answer. I would say that is 1 plus x squared over 2 factorial plus 5x to the 4th over 4 factorial. And the list goes on, but the only one, the first three non-zero terms okay the last entry on page 808 that table the last entry has the following this is what's known as the binomial series a really big deal so suppose f of x equals 1 plus x to the k i want to elaborate on what this is and if i want to find the mclaren series for this evaluate it at zero well i'm gonna say f equal one plus x to the k now the derivation work with this but there are exceptions i'm not gonna go over otherwise i'll be spending a long time one to the k is one if i take a derivative isn't that k into one plus x to the k minus one if i throw a zero in there i'll get a k if i take f double prime isn't that k into one plus oops k into k minus 1 into 1 plus x to the k minus 2 and wouldn't that be k into k minus 1 if i take the third derivative k into k minus 1 bring this power down k minus 2 into 1 plus x it kind of annoys me when these things happen raised to the k minus 3 and this is a 2 it looks like a 1 and wouldn't that be k into k minus 1 into k minus 2 and if i really think about this isn't this f of 0 plus f prime of 0 x to the 1 over 1 factorial plus f double prime of 0 x squared over 2 factorial plus f triple prime of 0 x cubed over 3 factorial and wouldn't that be f of 0 is a 1 plus isn't that a k times x to the 1 over 1 factorial plus isn't that k times k minus 1 x squared over 2 factorial isn't this k into k minus 1 into k minus 2 x cubed over 3 factorial guess what somebody did all of that work for you somebody said wait no need to do any of that work if you happen to see anything that can be written like this instead of doing all of this work i'm giving you the answer straight no need to run and do all of that work and waste all of that time. I'm telling you what the work is. Now what? Well, you still have to finish this. There's still work to be done. If I was to use McLaren on this, then I'm going to do all of that work and carry on. Somebody did the work for you. And I'm going to demonstrate that on the next example using two methods. Again, there are exceptions to this. But I'm not going to go over them. I'm just going to assume you're going to use the formula. You're not going to derive it every time. So, for example, if I'm looking at this problem, if I said use McLaren, now notice the word keyword is binomial. 
anything that looks like 1 plus x to the k I can do. I'm going to do this problem using McLaren and show you how much work it takes until I get to this level and then finish the problem and show you how to do that one shot without actually doing McLaren. According to McLaren, this is f of 0 plus f prime of 0 x to the 1 over 1 factorial f double prime of 0. So all of this work is not needed. But because students, I suppose, don't read the book, don't do the homework, on the exam they try to do that and they try to ask for partial credit on this. There is no partial credit for any of this. This is showing that you really didn't pay attention to the section, the book, or the videos. And if I evaluate that at x equals 0, give myself some space, at 0 that's a 1. If I take a derivative, wouldn't that be 3 fourth into 1 minus x? 3 fourth minus 1 is negative 1 fourth times a negative 1. So wouldn't that be negative 3 fourth? f double prime, wouldn't that be negative 3 fourth times negative 1 fourth into 1 minus x to the negative 5 fourth times negative 1? Isn't that negative 3 over 4 squared? If I take the third derivative, isn't that, so this is all negative, isn't that negative 3 over 4 times 1 over 4? times negative 5 over 4, 1 minus x, to the negative 9 over 4 times negative 1. So wouldn't that be, they're all negatives. Uh, let me check real quick. Okay, oh boy. Wouldn't that be a negative 3 fourth times 1 fourth times negative 5 fourth? So that's negative. It'll be 3 over 4, 1 over 4, 5 over 4, right? And if I take the fourth derivative, wouldn't that be negative 3 over 4 times 1 over 4 times 5 over 4 times negative 9 over 4 into 1 minus x to the negative 13 over 4 times negative 1? And that will turn out to be a negative, because there's three negatives, 3 fourth, 1 fourth, 5 fourth, 9 fourth. And if I fill in the blanks, isn't that a 1 minus 3 over 4 times x to the 1 over 1 factorial minus 3 over 4 times 1 over 4 x squared over 2 factorial minus... 3 over 4, 1 over 4, 5 over 4, x cubed over 3 factorial, minus 3 over 4, 1 over 4, 5 over 4, and 9 over 4, x to the 4th over 4 factorial. And from there, you need to come up with a formula for that. Now, notice what happens if I was to look at this problem and say, you know what? At this stage, from now on, on this is 1 minus 3 times x to the 1 over 4 times 1 factorial minus 3 times 1 x squared over 4 squared times 2 factorial minus 3 times 1 times 5 over 4 cubed times x cubed over 3 factorial minus 3 1 5 9 over 4 to the 4th x to the 4th over 4 factorial and the list goes on. Notice that to this level you're going to figure out a formula. This is pretty much the step right there. I could have saved myself all of this work, all of this, and jumped straight to this work if I was to recognize what this is. I noticed that k is 3 fourth and x is really replaced by negative x, so that's 1 plus k, 3 fourth, actually I'll do that on the next video. So to this level, it took me all of that work. I could have saved myself all of the work and started right there because I still have to go on and figure out a formula sheet for this.